Take a perfectly good motorcycle, add thousands of dollars in modifications to it, a few scratches and scrapes, a dash of insanity, and a big heaping of skill, and you get the latest in motorcycling thrills. Freestyle street stunt riding. Like a well choreographed ballet, set to the score of engines being bounced off rev limiters and the scent of tire smoke in the air. Freestyle stunt riders bound through the air at speed and stop on a dime. Each trying to outdo the other for the crowd's approval and the judge's top pick. Remember when you were a kid and you were doing wheelies on your bike and stuff like that? Well, it's not much different except these bikes cost a lot more money. I know they looked a little bit ragged out and beaten up, but there's actually a lot of money in these bikes to make sure that these guys can pull these crazy maneuvers off safely and consistently every time. Yeah. You gotta have a cage on the bike. You drop the bike. Sometimes you'll end up breaking open your uh, clutch cover here. That's no good. You'll spill oil everywhere and it'll, it'll end your day. We put a little bit larger rear sprocket on the bike. It gives you more torque so you can pick up wheelies a lot easier. We put a rear brake on our left handlebar so we don't have to worry about trying to get down to the foot brake and we can control the bike with that brake. I see this tank is dented and from what I understand that's so you don't slide off it. Right ground down your exhaust here. Yeah, I don't have a 12 bar, so I drag my exhaust on the ground. A lot of people think it's like a wheelie bar, so you don't go all the way over. But trust me, you can still go all the way over, still even take with it right over. Bar. Stunting is more than just fun and games for the riders. At these shows, cash awards and big prizes are up for grabs. But any street stunt rider will tell you, it's not the winnings that get them out on two wheels, or even one. Yeah, the, the more the crowd pumps it up, you know, the crazier we get and the fun, more fun we have. So. It's fun. Right. I wouldn't do anything else. And for one rider, born with a disability, street stunting means much more to him. It's about being an inspiration to others and achieving his own personal best. That's what it's about. That's why I do what I do, man, to be out here and be an inspiration to others with disabilities and, and, and people with challenges in their life. And that's what I, why I come out here and give it my all. Sure, these pros make it look easy, but pulling off these complicated acrobatic feats takes tons of patience and the willingness to crash up your bike. But safety for these guys is of top priority. Just do it safe, don't do it on the street. You get run over by cars, you do it in a controlled environment, it's safe. Most you're gonna do is bounce off that wall. All of our participants wear helmets and boots and uh, protection. Yeah, so we're all about safety, first and foremost. Once an underground sport, street stunt riding is gaining in popularity. Events are springing up everywhere as promoters and sponsors hope to cash in on the sport's newfound audience. Burning rubber, crashing steel, even high-flying motocross acts are on the ticket. And don't forget rock bands and swimsuit competitions. All are part of the testosterone thrill fest known as freestyle street stunt riding. All right, so you've seen the pros in action. That's right, pretty spectacular stuff. Now I'm gonna try some stunt riding of my very own. Oh yeah, but for me, I think it's best if I start off a little smaller, literally. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>